Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to Future on Cloud. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can configure SPF, DCAM and DMARC for your emails in order to avoid phishing attacks. So it, there are three simple steps that you need to follow in your production environment in order to configure these things. The SPF record you can configure when you are setting up your domain as I have set up my domain and these records are already configured in my domain this is my web hosting site I am in zone editor and these are the SPF record so next step is how you can configure daycam record there are two ways to configure daycam first one is I should say the simplest one is you need to log in on Office 365 portal as I already logged in on the portal. Go to admin tab from here. I am in admin tab. Click on security. From the security, just run search for policies and rules, threat policies. And here you can see Daycam. From here you need to select your domain for, for which domain you wanted to activate your record. Just click on the domain name and this one you need to enable to get the information. It will take a while to cross check either these records are added already added in your control panel of your hosting provider or not if it is not added then you will get this error <clears throat> from here what you need to do is you need to copy this information like the selected domain and pointing address this will be our pointing address and the second one is another selector and the second value where we need to point out our records so this is the simplest way just copy it and paste it in the not notepad which i already did these are the value selected domain and the pointing record the another selected domain and the pointing record that you need to add in your hosting provider the second method is using the PowerShell. In order to get the same value, you just need to run the command from your PowerShell. This is the command connect exchange online. If that command is not working, then you need to install some modules in order to connect your PowerShell with your office 65 exchange so these are the commands that you need to execute set <coughs> execution policy for remote sign in and install module name exchange online management right so i have already executed this command so first of all i have installed this module that this one then i try to connect connect exchange online the last command but it was not working then I have installed execute policy remote sign in then I try it again again it was not working then I have installed exchange online module once you execute this command these are the prerequisites once all pre prerequisites are done then you can connect with exchange online using powershell so once you get connected as mentioned in the steps then you need to run this command following with your domain name as i can show you this is the command which i have executed and these values i have extracted from the powershell same values we can we can get from here by enabling it it's up to you which method you wanted to follow 
but i would say you have to you should follow this method because this is the simplest method so once you have this value we just need to add txt record on our hosting provider or wherever domain is registered so this is our cpanel i am going to add txt record selector this will be txt record and the value is for selector 1 to avoid extra spacing to change dtl 60 mismatch ttl value 36 and this will be called the same name and type must always Yeah, hello guys. Uh, I paused the video for a while uh, because I was getting TTL error and I troubleshoot it. It took some time. Uh, the reason I, why I was getting the TTL value mismatch because this value SPF record was configured for 60. TTL was 60. And what I was configuring that was for 3600. So I just change the TTL value from 60 to 3600 then I have added this TXT record and it works fine so let's move forward for another record TXT value selected domain key number 2 3600 TTL Recall would be the selector. It's your choice. Either you copy it from here, which you, which I have selected from the portal, from this portal, or you can copy this value from here. Both are same, right? So here it is. Let me copy it again. So the both records are added successfully, selector 1 and selector 2. This is the DKIM value. So let's move forward to configure our the last record which is DMARC. In order to generate your DMARC, I am going I will paste this link in the description so it will help you how to generate your DMARC. I'll, I'll show you how you can generate it. This is a free tool, demo record generator. You just need to enter your domain. These are the steps that you need to provide here and it will generate a DMARC value for you. I have already generated it for me. So this is the DMARC value for me, right? So I am going to configure it as a TXT record. Again, jump into your hosting provider, add txt record, type the name, again value would be 3600 and the txt record is, here I have configured the policy for dmark. The policy is I am going to reject spoofed or phishing emails and I want 
if some kind of emails someone trying to send those emails just give me a copy of those senders and I am following a strict policy these values you will configure and the SPF records and we can uh, during the visit by using these by using this link right so just save this record so all records are configured so let me cross check first of all we will check our SPF record So SPF record is configured. So our next record is DMARC lookup. So as you can see now, our DMARC is also configured, right? So when earlier I was checking, if I can show you, here it is. DMARC record was not configured. So I was getting this, no DMARC record found as it is configured now so these are the values like policy is reject and the role is send email to my email address so i will review it so if you go back and click on it by the way this path you can find by login on admin portal then security scroll down find the policy and rules it will take some time to synchronize it no need to worry but as as we prove that it is enabled and values are configured properly it will take some time to synchronize this is it for now. Thanks for watching. Alright.